Okay, good morning um, or good afternoon, Global Politicians. So this is just a video to outline what we're doing this week. Um, so this week we're looking at pathways towards development still for our learner outcome. Um, first of all, we're going to evaluate some visions of the world after COVID-19. Um, then we're going to define some key terms connected with economic development. And then we're going to try to sort of create and evaluate the best approach for developing the economy. Um, so lots and lots of key concepts this week, trade, liberalization, export, orientation, commodity-led growth, tourism, entrepreneurship, knowledge economy, circular economy, complementary currencies, and then finally liberalism and neo-Marxism. So first of all, um, I've posted an article on Google Classroom, predictions for a post-COVID-19 world. So we looked at sort of one prediction last week about how it's not really going to change the global order. These are 12 experts that have been asked, what do they think the world's going to be like? It's not a long article. Read the article. Which prediction or analysis do you agree with most and why? Um, and what do you think the world will look like after COVID-19? How will the world change? How will the... Uh, world order change, how will our lives change, how will economies change, um, you know, give us your thoughts because no one knows at the moment. Um, so number two, key terms and approaches to developing the economy. So you have Google Doc which looks like this um, and very simply all you need to do is for step one, you need to read, uh, read pages 132 to 135 of the Max Kirch Global Politics um, course companion, which I've uploaded to Google Classroom. Make brief notes in your own words, don't just copy directly what they say on these key concepts. Um, please note this is the PDF number at the top, not the page number at the bottom. Um, please note for commodity-led growth and complementary currencies, they're not in this extract, so you'll need to research them yourself. It's very easy to research. They're not difficult to, it's not difficult to find a definition. Um, next, you're going to read liberalization and development strategies, um, which again is attached to Google Classroom. And make notes on the following. Um, give a brief overview on the information it gives on liberalization uh, theories and development. Some of the strategies and models for development that are linked with liberalism and how successful have these been. And then you're going to do the same, you're going to read Neo-Marxism and develop and strategies and do exactly the same for that. I know it's a lot of reading, a lot of note-taking, it's not the most, um, you know, it's not the most fun activity, but it has to be done. Um, and last but not least, hopefully something that's a bit more fun. So, I think one thing we can all agree with is that um, COVID-19 is, is going to hit the world economy and it's going to hit every country's economy. So let's imagine you're the president of Indonesia, you have to revive the economy. The COVID-19 pandemic is over, you know, we're assuming that a cure has been found, so we don't have the idea of, um, you know, social isolation happening, so it's been cured, but the Indonesian economy is a mess. So how are you going to develop the Indonesian economy? So, first of all, choose a model of development. Um, you know, we looked at modernization theory, dependency theory, neoliberalist neo theory, Washington consensus theory can be another model that you came across in your reading on liberalism and neo-Marxism. So what model are you going to follow? Next, you have to choose at least three of the con key concepts and approaches to developing the economy. For example, trade liberalization and explain the practical steps um, that you would take to develop the Indonesian economy. You know, you have to be realistic. You can't say, well, I would... Um, you know, raise tax rates levels to 80%. You know, it has to be something that is, is fairly realistic and plausible. And so when you've come up with an outline, an idea of how you would develop the Indonesian economy, have to record a video response. It has to be a video. You know, let's see your faces. Don't be shy. Um, to this Flipgrid. And this, again, the link is on Google Classroom. It's also on the Google Docs. You have five minutes. So the video will shut off after five minutes. So you have five minutes to outline your model for reviving the Indonesian economy. Um, we are then going to vote on the best and the best model of development. You will get a prize, um, obviously, when we are 
back in school. Um, and it's fairly straightforward, the instructions. Um, and yeah, that's our work for the week. It's really important from last week's work um, to make sure we've all finished the development weeks one to seven recap. If you got questions wrong, and I've had a look through the responses, some of you did, that's fine. But if you got a question wrong, go away and look. Um, and so at least you understand why you got it wrong and what the right answer is. It's really important. It wasn't a test, it was a review. So if there were things you didn't understand, have to go away and look at them because we're going to be moving on and moving on. So that is our work for the week. I will be on um, Google Hangouts, obviously, through email. We might do a class call um, one of the days this week. I'll let you know um, and see if we need it. Thanks and have a good week.